Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we are going to make no paint prints. You will need colouring mandala printables, Crayola felt tip pens, A4 polystyrene sheets, A4 watercolour paper, a biro, sellotape, a pot of water, some scissors and a paintbrush. The only prep that you'll need for this lesson is to search online for some colour in printable manzala designs. I'd recommend going for simpler, bolder designs rather than smaller, intricate designs because otherwise the paper will rip with too much detail. For my example, I'm going with this flower twirly kind of pattern. When I copied these mandala designs onto Word, I added a border so I could cut around it and it gives me an edge that I can stick onto my polystyrene. Position your design to the centre of your polystyrene sheet and then you can secure it in place at the top and the bottom with some sellotape. This just stops the design wriggling around whilst you're trying to draw it. Now for the most time consuming part of this project, you're going to go over your mandala outlines with a biro pen so that it indents into the polystyrene underneath. I recommend that you use a pen that's a different colour to the outline of your mandala, so I'm using blue um, as the outline is black. Try to apply the right amount of pressure. You want to try and make sure that the pen is leaving an indentation in the polystyrene underneath but also you want to make sure that you're not leaving loads of holes in your paper and ripping the paper as you go otherwise this is too much pressure and might rip your polystyrene underneath. You could always practice applying pressure before you do this project on a scrap piece of polystyrene. When you've finished tracing the design then you can peel off the design that you've just drawn over and have a look at your polystyrene. You should be able to see an indentation of the whole design. Using your biro pen again, you're going to draw over the indentations so that you can see your design better. Be careful with this step because you don't want to rip the polystyrene and ruin your design, otherwise you'll have to start all over again. A tip for this part is to have your original design to the side of you whilst you're drawing on the polystyrene to make sure that you are drawing the right lines in the right places and you might be able to add any that you've missed. Next I'm just getting my Crayola felt tip pens and I'm colouring random sections of the polystyrene and this is going to create a watercolour effect later on. I didn't choose any particular colours just some colours that I liked and thought would work well together. Put your polystyrene sheet to one side whilst we work on your watercolour paper and we are going to get a big paintbrush, dip it in the water, don't overload it, you don't want to get your paper too wet, just enough to wet all of the paper thinly. If you do put too much water on you can always dab it with a tissue. Then flip your polystyrene sheet over and line it up with the base of the paper before you lie it down completely flat. When you're happy with it, lay it down and rub all over your design so that you can transfer the colour off your stamp that you just made onto the watercolour paper. Peel your polystyrene sheet away gently and it will leave you with a print of your design. All you need to do to clean your polystyrene stamp is to get some fairy liquid and water and use a damp cloth to clean it down. If you want a less watercolour style print, you can colour in the sections and this adds more detail to your picture too. You can create several different designs from this one mandala stamp. Just keep reusing it and washing it.
Just do the same process again, wet the paper and take off any excess paper by blotting it with a tissue and rub gently, pull away and here's your stamp again, here's your print rather. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this on a Monday and other art related videos on a Thursday. See you next week for more Out with Miss Burford!